So, it's an exciting day today at the Chateau and a day that we've been waiting for for about a year and a half. Unfortunately, back then, the wall in the wall garden came down um, and it was, it was quite a, a sad and emotional day when it came down just because we've been working so hard to, to create a home here in the Chateau and bring it back to life. Um, when we woke up the next day, obviously the wall had came down and it was just a another sort of like setback and another blow and another job to get sorted really. Well luckily with all the wonderful help from all of you we managed to get the like base of the wall sorted so we've got a decent foundation and we got the wall built with breeze blocks so it was a lot more structurally sound and safe and it gave us the, the base there to, to build like the, the new wall against. So the plan was always to clad the wall in the original stone that we had left over. But due to obviously the weather last year, we tried doing a bit in summer and it was just so, so hot. We only managed to get like the first layer of stone and we had a stop. And then obviously winter came and we couldn't do an out. So while the weather's been perfect, we thought we would crack on and get some more of the wall done. So Graham's over. He's came over especially to give us a hand with getting the the, the wall built as much as we possibly can. Obviously it's going to be a long slow process but we want it done for this year just so we can crack on with the, the formal garden plans and get those in place. Obviously at the minute all the stones there and we're looking at a breeze block wall and it's not the, the nicest things to look at. So they're down there waiting. I'm going to get down there, get the cement mixer on and hopefully by the end of this episode we will have a beautiful stone wall which ties in with the rest of the stone walls and just looks like it was all there. So I better get down now, crack on and get this wall built.
So we're back out in the wall garden and doing the wall and as you can see it's looking amazing already. Obviously we've been working on it for about a day, two days now, just getting it done bit by bit. And see all of the stone is almost gone as well. So it's just absolutely amazing just getting it all sorted. Um, all we're doing is just mixing the cement and sand. So we're doing a five to one mix. Um, obviously we've got all the structure there with the wall anyway, so it's just to sort of bind it all together. Um, and just sifting through the stones, just literally whichever one we pick, we're just putting in. So yeah, it's working out really well. So you can really notice it down the end there because we've had to come up quite high because of the ground level, the way it slips down. But hopefully after today, we'll be again another courses up, another two or three courses up. Um, so you'll really start to notice it. But I'll go along and show you now so you can see it and see how well we're doing. So, I'll see as you can see, uh, We've only got a couple of courses up, but it's looking brilliant tying it in. And we're really happy with the way it's all working out, to be honest, the way the stones are going in. Um, I thought it would have been really difficult, to be honest. Obviously, always trying to pick the perfect stone to go in, which I was doing at the beginning, and it was just taking so, so long. So now we're just in the mindset, whatever stone we pick up, we have to fit in. And to be honest, it's going really well, it's brilliant. Like I said, to get all of this stone all sifted through and sorted. So Mum's sorting all the stone out. Graham's up there on the cement mixer, getting that sorted. But you can just see here how well it's all looking. It's just looking absolutely amazing. So all we're gonna do is just stick it on time lapse so you can see how quick it's going up, because it is sort of a slow process. It is, isn't it? Isn't it? To be honest, obviously we feel like we're flying along with getting it up, but it's only like a stone at a time. But yeah, let's see, and then we've got all of this to carry on going, to clad it all the way up the top, and then all of the decent sized stones, so stuff like this one, which are quite nice and flat, we're keeping as capping stones, so we'll put those on the top, and what that'll do is that'll stop any sort of rain or anything like that come in um, and ruin the wall again. But as you can see, obviously we're cementing the whole lot in. The reason we're using cement as well is because it matches in with the stone a lot more and it looks a lot like the old walls. So, and it's gonna be a hell of a lot stronger to do it. So that was the reason we're doing that rather than the lime water. And a lot of the French repairs now are done with sand and cement rather than lime water, so. Yep, we'll crack on now, get the last bits done and see how much we can get done today.
So, another day working back on the wall and glorious day. So that's why we thought we'd come back out and get the rest of it sorted, as much as we can sorted today. But it's going brilliant, like already you can see all the stone that we've, we've gone through. Um, it's just brilliant to finally get this area cleared up again. But yeah, all of this is gone. So once the wall's done, we can crack on with the rest of the cap and stones over there. But I'll show you now, obviously where we're up to with the wall, because I'm just so surprised with it. So you can see right the way down, just how much we've done with it. It just looks absolutely amazing. Um, I can't believe, it, to be honest, how well it turned out. But how we're doing, obviously, when we're getting the stones on, we're trying to overlap them where the joints are, so it makes it a lot stronger as well. So, and it looks a little bit more natural then, so they're not all just literally just plunked on top of each other. When I'm doing it like you can see, obviously we've got a big stone there, overlapping two little ends, overlapping two other ones down here. So, it's sort of finding the right stone, but not finding the right stone as well. Um, whatever stone you pick up, you just sort of use where you can. And at least with the breeze blocks, we've got a, a level to work with. So all we're doing is going up two breeze blocks each day to get it sorted and it's working really well like I said obviously we've got all the way down there done right the way along right the way down to this bottom part um, but what we'll have to do is we'll have to put one more level of breeze blocks on the top just so it matches the top level of the gate over there so it's one shot when we got it done um, well, that's not too difficult, we can pop that back on just to get that all back into level. And then yeah, that's it. we will finally have the Great Wall of Lalacelle back together, which is just amazing that it's, it's turned out really well. And to think that it's just, obviously us that have done it by ourselves, I wouldn't even like to think how much it would have cost to get all of this faced. So just to get the wall built and the foundations done, was a, a massive whack and thanks to all of you and all your help um, we managed to, to get it sorted so it's it's good to see it getting faced and looking back how it was see ya but well, we'll crack on now graham's got the first mix on for us so we can finish this last little bit off here and then we can start at the other end again and get another layer right the way along and hopefully by the end of the week we should have it done up to the top which would be amazing to, to finally see it back and to get this area tidied again. So yeah, wish us luck and I'll put on time lapse so you can watch the rest of it go up. See you in a bit.
So it's the final day on the wall and we just cannot believe how much we've got done with it. So we're all the way up, we're literally up to the last level now. We've only got the last two courses of bricks to do. So, and then it'll be completely done and we won't have to look at a full pile of stone anymore. And we'll have a beautiful wall again. So then we can get on to getting the actual design for the formal garden in place. We can start laying stuff out and getting the pathways sorted and stuff like that. So yeah, it's just so exciting to, to get to this stage. But well, while we're cracking on with this last level, we'll just take a look back to see how bad the garden actually was and how bad this wall was as well um, when we got all of the trees out and stuff like that. And then obviously the devastating news was when obviously the wall came down. So yeah, so we'll have a quick look back now, see all the work that's gone into it, and then we'll look at the final part. So we'll crack on now.
That's it done. It is. The Great Wall of Lalasel is finally back up yeah. and it has been an absolutely massive, massive job. Yeah. But huge. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's been one of the hardest jobs we've done. I think, Physically. Yeah, I think it's been time consuming yeah. in physical, mm -hmm. hasn't it? I am absolutely a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's took us seven, seven days. Seven to yeah. eight days. Yeah, yeah, seven to eight days to get it done. But you imagine the labour on that? Yeah. Imagine what it would have cost to get mm. someone in to do that and the job mm. you've done. It, it is It looks absolutely out it of this is. world. Yeah. And this is all thanks to all of you for helping out to, to get the wall rebuilt. Yeah. yeah. Obviously it's 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 all thanks to you. I know we've done the work, but it wouldn't have been possible without guys. No, no, because we got all the, the groundworks done first, didn't we? Yeah. With the, yeah, the yeah. money that was obviously sent to us, so that, that's covered yeah, a lot covered. of the initial work. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then after it, obviously it's been sand and cement to get all of that. And yeah. even there's been that, tons and tons, tons of it. Yeah. Uh, three not, three lots, haven't we? Three times. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. six was well, it six ton of sand? Nine, nine ton of sand's gone into the rebuild. Mm. Yeah. And 30 bags of cement, 40 bags of cement. Mm. Yeah. So it's been a massive amount. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Graham is that a mix at all? <laughs> Big thanks to my mum for letting Graham come out and letting us have him for a few weeks because yeah. he's been an absolute godsend. Yeah. Jane, I miss you. <laughs> <laughs> We're letting him go home now. <laughs> yeah. But, took his shackles off now, so yeah. he's free. Yeah. It's if you see him running down the drive in about five minutes, yeah. <laughs> it's just yeah. amazing to, to finally get it back up. Like every time we used to come out for the back in the walled garden, yeah, and you just you mm -hmm. were just like drawn straight mm -hmm. to the breeze block wall. Yeah. Well, everything was a mess. I mean, now we've got all the trees cleared. We've got the walls. The cabin stones just about finished on the walls. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. And everything's cleared and. It's totally starting different. to take shape, isn't it? Everything's totally starting different. to take shape. It's transformed, yeah, absolutely it transformed it all. It's amazing. It just, yeah, it does look brilliant. I'm yeah. Just so pleased. Yep. We thought we did have the last stone on, but I've just spotted that there's one more stone, which you've got the very bottom um, to cover oh, the base of the breeze block. Yeah. So I think we're going to get Jonathan to do that one. Yeah. <laughs> he can put the very last stone on. I, I think, think yeah, you're thinking about putting some of the names. Down yeah, in the yeah, yeah. So obviously this is all the wall built, but I think what we're going to do is everyone that helped rebuild the wall and that donated, I'm going to print it off on a piece of paper and laminate it and put that behind. So there's always a keepsake there. Yeah. And then obviously we're still going to do the plaque. So we're going to get a nice mm. plaque and we're going to have that like on a, a, a mount mm -hmm. and we'll have that sat in front of it because we're going to have all flowers here. Mm -hmm. So I think we'll have that sat in front and it'll look mm. lovely. I think it will like in the garden so when people do come and they can see it clearly, yeah. it will look fantastic. Fantastic, yeah. Mm -hmm. But for now, I think we are going to get a bath, beer, and then pizza. <laughs> You're going to lie down. Yeah. <laughs> but right, we'll go and do that. Yep, thank you very much. Mm. Hope you've enjoyed today's show. Mm -hmm. If you have, please click the like button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and we'll see you in the next one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you all so, so much once again. Yeah, it has been tremendous. Yeah, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.